Hi there, in this video I was just going to show you how you can use Postgres to store your projects uh, rather than storing them on the local drive so you can get your projects into a, um, your database. I've got this connection here uh, called OSM Training, it's just where I put a variety of OpenStreetMap data amongst other things and I think I'll, I'll just put it there uh, if I look at the connection details it's just a local database, usual port, and the usual settings. However, with this connection, this checkbox is ticked. Allow saving and loading QGIS projects in the database. So when you go to your PostGIS link in this browser and go to New Connection and enter your details here about the database, make sure you click this and that'll allow you to, to do what I'm going to do, which is to save the project file into the database. So that's the only thing you have to make sure that you do. So now, in project, because I've got this connection here, which goes straight uh, straight to my progress, um, Postgres database, I can say save to Postgres SQL. Notice it says post Postgres SQL. It's not doing any PostGIS stuff. There's no geometry. There's no geography here. So it's just your, your straightforward um, Postgres database. So it doesn't need the sort of PostGIS template applied or anything like that. It's just a raw Postgres uh, database. So uh, I'm using my connection, which is OSM training. It's just in the public. And then I can call it whatever I like. It's called training at the moment. Let's call it... Um, Let's call it training four. Uh, let's see, I seem to have a, a training uh, three already in there. So press OK, and off it goes. Uh, there's a bit of detail down at the bottom of the screen. Save project two um, with my database settings, and off you go. So how do I bring that back? Well, let's hit the new project button and just wipe the canvas, etc. Go to project open rec uh, recent I could use or open from open recent still has the link to it as you can see but I can also do open from and get this dialog back go to my appropriate schema and sure enough there's my training for press OK and it will load that project from the database so what, what, does, what does it actually look like in the database? Well, we can take advantage of the DB Manager, which is a great tool in QGIS to give you full power over your database um, within QGIS. So instead of going to PG Admin, for example, and kicking off the SQL editor window, I can go to Database, DB Manager, go to my PostGIS connection, and in the public OSM training schema, you will see a table called QGIS projects. It's telling me something about a uh, vacuum required but I don't think that's really necessary. And um, so what is QGIS projects? Well within it are these two tables, uh, sorry records, records three and four. And in fact if I, I could run the query here, select star from, and as I type it fills out QGIS projects for me, which is quite nice. Quite a nice interface, and there you go. So it's um, uh, there's a load of sort of uh, bytes in there for the content and some JSON metadata stored in there. So if I go back to my open from and go to Postgres, I can of course select, let's say, training three manage projects and remove the project from the database but I could do it straight you know I could do a truncate to clear them all out or delete or whatever um, and just just w work like that you know normal normal database tools and that's the point that's that's why you're storing it there so when I go back to DB manager here that's some training I deleted one so in QGIS projects so in QGIS project, there's now just that one left. So that, that was a little um, introduction to uh, the DB Manager, uh, but uh, as well as me showing you how to save a project, which is very easy, to Postgres. 
I hope you find that useful. Thank you.